How's it going everybody? So we're out in the small forge and we got a piece of steel right here that I want to forge into a knife. Now this is a quarter inch thick by an inch wide here by at the longest part six and a half inches. It's about just over six inches on the short side here. Now I welded a piece of rebar to it so I didn't have to use tongs or anything and I can just focus on this. But I'm going to force this down into the shape of a, a knife and on some of the ones that I've done, I've done a tapered tang, so a distal taper on the tang and the blade and all that. I actually want this one to stay this thick because I've got some, the, the way that I want to do the bevels and I really want the plunge lines and the bevels and everything to stand out a lot so I'm probably not going to forge it much thinner than this quarter inch that we have here. I'm going to focus more on forging down these areas, you know, the tip and the handle to get my extra length out of that and less on forging it thinner. So it's a little bit thicker knife. I do these every once in a while, not very often, but uh, I'm going to go with something that's a little bit thicker and we're just going to go ahead and forge the shape and see what I can get going with this piece of steel right here. Let's go ahead and get our forge kicked on and uh, start forging.
All right, guys, let's go ahead and wrap this one up right here. Now, before I give you the close-up, I'm going to tell you about two channels that I think that y'all should go check out after this video. One is A to Z Blades, and the other one is David Moon Forge. I think that y'all would really like their format and the way that they make their videos, and the stuff that they make is just awesome, and I really feel like they deserve more subscribers than they have. And I love doing the little shout outs here and there for channels that I come across that I don't know that y'all come across. Now, I watch a ton of knife making YouTube videos because I want to make sure that I'm keeping up on my game and that I'm making stuff that is unique to my channel. I love doing that stuff, but if someone's already making something, I kind of want to let them do their thing and I'll make something else. So I'll go through and I'll watch a bunch of different videos on different channels and things like that. But... I really feel like they deserve more subscribers than they have. So if y'all would, I'm going to leave links for both their channels in the description below. Go give them a subscribe, you know, blow up their comment section, stuff like that. I think that they would really appreciate it. And I think y'all really appreciate the type of content that they create. Now, with that being said, let's talk about the content that I created. <laughs> so this is where we're at so far with this build. Now, I kind of had in my mind that I was going to do like a burden trout style knife and I didn't know that it was going to be this particular shape but once you start forging and you start going you start seeing it in your head and you're like All right, cool yeah this is the way that I'm going to go but I really like the way that this tang is set up I think that that's going to be a really comfortable handle when we put scales on it and I like the little cross hatch design that we forged into it with the cross peen hammer and then of course I love a good thick knife with real deep plunge lines and makes everything look super aggressive and stand out really like how this is turning out it's super comfortable in the hand even without scales on it and I think it's gonna look really cool now we've only got the rough bevels on here these are pre heat treat bevels let's see if we can get the focus on here Sometimes this camera focuses really well, and sometimes it's just like, you know what? I'm going to focus on that thing. I'm going to focus on this thing. Sometimes, go up close, and it's like, okay, ah, there we go. So this right here is just the, the preheat treat bevels. It's a 36 grit belt with a medium scotch bright uh, finish over that. That's all we're going to go with, preheat treat. We got an edge about the thickness of a nickel right now, right there. About the thickness of the edge of a nickel. We're gonna leave it at that, do our heat treat process, and then go ahead, finish it out, put scales on it and everything. I'm gonna be working on that. I'll probably try and go ahead and finish this one up for Sunday so that you'll have the completion of this. We'll see how it goes. Now, the scales that I'm gonna end up putting on here are really cool burl scales. They, they look really awesome whenever you actually shape them and do all of that, and it's a real cool color. So I'm gonna end up going with these scales on here. So it's just gonna be a good looking knife. And I know that this wasn't one that y'all were really expecting, but sometimes, you know, when you're working on other stuff in the background, you just got to knock something out. And I wanted to knock something out just like the scrap build that we just got done doing. I have wanted to make a knife like this for a little while and I decided, you know what? Let's go out to the forge, let's bang it out, and let's make a knife. So that's what I did. Now, when it comes to the scales for the two Insanity builds, I'm still working on those. Y'all will end up getting a video about them here soon. So just be patient with me on that. They're complicated. Now, some of y'all asked about updates for the shop build. So I would planned on starting that a couple of weeks ago, but the price of materials is starting to drop a little bit, and I kind of want to wait for it to drop a little bit more because whenever I initially thought about making the shop, you know, lumber and everything was actually really, really reasonable. And then I started collecting all the money. And by the time I had all the money together, everything was like twice as expensive so all the money that I originally saved up was not the amount that was necessary to build a shop but now the stuff's starting to come down a little bit I'm gonna wait for it to come down just a little bit more so I get the bigger bang for my buck so 
I still plan on doing that. I'm already collecting materials as they start dropping a little bit so that I can start the process, but just bear with me on that. I want to make sure that I'm not, you know, spending a ton of money whenever things are kind of working their way down. Plus, I'm waiting for it to be not 100 something degrees outside because it's too hot to be messing with that. But that's where we're at with this. Tell me what y'all think about this build. Do y'all think that that's pretty cool? Do y'all like this? Do y'all think that my camera should focus better? <laughs> I'm excited about it. I think it's a cool profile, but y'all tell me what y'all think about it. And guys, go give those channels a peek. See if you like what they've got going on. Maybe subscribe to their channel. See what's up. But when it comes to my channel, you know, make sure you give this a thumbs up. Share this video or one of my other videos. Subscribe to this channel. You know, I've thought about it, and I think I'm going to do a 25,000 subscriber giveaway. Don't exactly know what knife it is. I do know what knife it is. But I think I'm going to go ahead and do a 25,000 subscriber giveaway. I'll give you all more of an insight onto how to win that giveaway knife whenever we actually get closer to the 25,000 subscribers. But without further ado, thank you all for coming by. Thank you all for spending your time with me. Y'all have an amazing day. Y'all stay safe out there. I'll catch y'all next time.